You're from outer space. No, I'm from Iowa. I only work in outer space. Hi, Jack. Message from Starfleet, Captain. On screen, Lieutenant. The USS Enterprise is to report immediately to Beta Miamid. The USS Masada has failed to report as scheduled. Determine nature of delay and take whatever measures are necessary. Set course for Beta Miamid, sir. Yeah, we'll get to that. Hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Star Trek, the 25th Anniversary Edition, starring me, the captain of the bridge. Okay, this mission. This mission is very cool because it rewards you both for being a thorough player as well as having knowledge of the Star Trek things as it goes. It's very cool. It's a very sh pretty short mission, but it's very fulfilling, I should say. Okay, let's set course for Beta Miami. Well, it's not as cool as Alpha Miami. Let's consult our star map that I have off screen that you can't see. Number 15. Where are you? It's right here? I hope. Let's go. There is an unidentified ship closing rapidly. Weapons on and shields up. Oh, there always is, isn't there? Message coming in, sir. On screen, Lieutenant. Leave the Beta Miami system immediately. You're interfering in Elasi affairs. So this is kind of cool. They introduced the Elasi as the villain of the week, as it were. So they could... The uh, writing team can play around with them and not interfere with the actual, you know, Klingon and Romulan backstory and everything that's been established. We I are like conducting that. a search and rescue mission for the USS Masada. It was last reported in this system. We cannot leave until we can confirm its location and condition. Yeah. So Good luck with that. You have been warned. Prepare to die. Alright. Preparing to die. Arming weapons. Target analysis on. Let's go blow up that Alaska guy. Oh, he's right in front of us. Ah! There we go. Let's go right after him now. Oh, the Alasi ships do have a cloaking device because it wouldn't be fair otherwise. At least some of them do. Not all of them do, I don't think. It's just armed with basic torpedoes and. Whoops! From the last known position of the Masada, I suggest we orbit the planet for a closer sensor scan, sir. Sorry for cutting you off, Chekhov. Where'd they go? Ah, oh, they're getting away. And they're gone now. Maybe. Do we chase them down? Yep, no, they're gone. Okay! Bit of a taste of combat there. Let's Lord lower our shields. Disarm and weapons. disarm the weapons. And let's take a standard orbit around the planet. Hey look, it's the USS Masada. There she is, Captain. She does not appear to be seriously damaged. Her shields are up and 27 life forms are aboard. Hmm. What shall we do about the Masada? So interesting about... Masada is a place from the ancient Israelite Hebrew uh, history, I believe. It was some kind of fortress where they made their last stand for some reason or something or another. So that's where Masada comes from. What should we do? Oh, also interesting of note is this is one of the ships that was not considered canon when this is one of the ship designs made from the various FASA games for Star Trek that were expanded before Star Trek became a big franchise in the 80s. And it has one nacelle like that. And Gene Roddenberry said there should be no ships without two or 
four nacelles. There should always be an even number of nacelles, so they get to use this one there. And it will also be a little bit similar to the USS Kelvin that showed up in Star Trek 2009, so that's kind of cool, getting to see a different kind of ship there. Let's, what should we do? Let's talk to Spock. What does Spock think? Captain, we could use the command prefix code to lower the Masada's shields briefly, long enough for one transporter burst. The prefix code? Where have I heard that before? <laughs> yes, you get to do the old Wrath of Khan trick. Absolutely, very cool. So we need to talk to the computer. Hello, computer. Masada, USS. A Federation tug tender. Registry NCC 293391. Currently under the command of Captain Kevin Keeler. Crew complement of 17. Primary mission tow repair of disabled ships. Its input override code is 293391. Dash one nine seven seven three six dash three eight two nine. Boy, it's got quite a long code there. The reliance was only five numbers. Okay, let's write that down in our captain's log off screen. Two nine three three nine one dash one nine seven seven three six dash three eight two nine. Definitely longer than the combination of my luggage. Let's see, what else can we do? Keeler? Keeler, Kevin, captain of the USS Masada, a Federation tug tender. Graduated 87th in his class at Starfleet Academy. Star date 3342.8. Keeler has the rank of lieutenant in Starfleet, but is the senior officer aboard the Masada. Oh, interesting. Not actually a captain. Um. What else can we do? Beta, Beta Miami. Miami. A Federation world. A supply depot orbiting Beta Miami 8 has recently been subject to attacks from Alasi pirates on two occasions within the last solar year. Does that include this one? Uh, what else? Alasi. A binary star system which one inhabited planet. Malavagor is currently undergoing a revolution between factions which survive from raiding Federation ships and factions that wish to make peace with the Federation. Several continents were colonized centuries ago by the Andorian. The self-determination of the Manalbagorians and the treatment of minority Andorians is an issue of considerable controversy. The Alasi clan is the largest clan of pirates and have been blamed for 46 attacks on Federation ships in the last three years. They use revolutionary zeal to mask their activities as pirates. Starfleet tactical analysis characterize them as being daring and impulsive, but skilled in analysis and planning. In effect, they are very capable of acting in an unorthodox and surprising manner when their plans begin to fall apart. They are considered a class one threat to the Federation. <laughs> class one threat, eh? This is kind of neat having all this dialogue and I don't actually have to read it for once. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this because there's so much backstory in this game. I just Alasi love it. Pirates. There are several bands of pirates based from Alasi Prime, the Ajalasi family, the Ajthuri, and the Anbrasili. Recent events on Manalbador have caused these bands, which typically battle each other, to unite and prey on Federation ships. Well, isn't that just Ajalasi. dandy? Meaning the Fist of Ilasi, a name taken by the Demiri pirate clan of Renalvagor, and used as their surname for nearly 70 years. Fist of Ilasi, eh? Alaj Ilasi. Oh, Al I guess that's it. Okay! How about that? All kinds of cool stuff. You can read in there. All right, let's save our game before we can screw this up. One of the interesting things about this mission is that you can actually bypass it entirely by screwing up the negotiations with the Alassie, as you would see in my James T. Jerkface video. You can actually just screw them up so badly that the commander or, or admiral what's your name of starfleet comes by and says no jim go away you're making a mess so that's kind of funny 
<laughs> you could skip it entirely. One of the few missions like that. This mission has quite a few different paths and ways that you can save it and screw it up also. Okay, what else can we do? Let's hail the Masada and see what they say. Hail the Masada or send the prefix code. Let's hail the Masada. Ship, Captain. Greetings, Federation Imperialists. I am Elasi Seraph, and I have claimed this ship as a blow for freedom against Federation tyranny. Ah, you blow, all this right. Is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. You are illegally in possession of Starfleet property. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Listen, Elasi. Hand over the ship and hostages now, or things are going to get very nasty. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Mr. Elasi, it appears that you have found something the Starfleet lost. This is Captain James T. Kirk. This is, Cap <laughs> this is Captain James. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Mr. Elasi, it appears that you have found something the Starfleet lost. So you can be a jerk to him if you say that number two ill. Take it as an excuse to start executing hostages. So we don't want that to happen. Or we would if we wanted to skip it. I like this one because he calls him Mr. Elassi like it's his name and he doesn't has no respect for his <laughs> himself. Good, Captain. You have a sense of humor. That will make this much easier. Ah, yeah? The infamous Captain Kirk. The Masada Infamous? You will release 25 political prisoners I specify, or I will destroy the ship and its crew. The list of those wrongfully imprisoned should be coming over to you now. I suppose you're gonna want also the plans and all knowledge of Project Genesis too, the huh? file captured, Captain. Computer indicates they were all convicted of piracy with various counts of murder and mayhem thrown in. Yeah? I'll find no bigger hive of scum and villainy. No, that's the, that's Freeing different. Freeing the thing. prisoners you requested will take time. We have to track down their current locations, and Starfleet will have to grant permission to move them here. I will get that started. You should tender a show of good faith on your part. Will you beam over so we can discuss negotiations face to face? Well, that's kind of a cool option, kind of putting the ball in his court. We can work together on this, Elasi. How about beaming some of the hostages over as a show of good faith? Also that one. Freeing the prisoners you requested will take time. We have to track down their current locations, and Starfleet will have to grant permission to move them here. I will get that Yeah, started. yeah, yeah, yeah. You should tender a show of good faith on your part. Will you beam over so, so we basically can he says, negotiations face to face? You're gonna trick us, Enterprise, etc. Yeah. Et Lower my shield so you can beam over a war party? I'm not stupid, Captain. We'll play by my rules. So long uh -huh. as the shields are up, Captain, our hands are tied. The Enterprise can overpower the Masada and take her, but the pirates would have all the time they need to kill every one of the hostages. That would be a very bad thing. Do you have data on the whereabouts and conditions of my falsely accused clansmen languishing in your dungeons, Captain? Dungeons, eh? Very well, we'll do it your way. I will put together the data packet. Kirk out. Your fellow Alassi have been tried in Federation courts of law and found guilty of their crimes. We'll listen to your complaints if you discuss them reasonably. Forget it, Elasi Sarath. You'll be the next one languishing on a Federation penal planet unless you drop your shields and surrender to me immediately. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Very well, we'll do it your way. You have 60 seconds to comply, Admiral. No, that's somebody else. Okay. Well, they're screwing around. Let's go ahead and save again. Save Why don't you? And now we'll just go ahead and send the prefix code. Guess we're not gonna help the Alassi. Why would we do that? Sending prefix and lowering the Masada shields. Our shields are dropping. Where is um Spock? Come with me, Mr. Scott. You have the con. There we go. Beam right on over there. Oh, this place doesn't look very good. So they said there were 27 life forms, life signs aboard the Masada, and it has a crew of 17, so that means there should be 10 pirates. Supposedly. Let's use a uh, medical tricorder on this guy. How you doing? He doesn't look too good. He's not hurt badly. I can revive him. 
Oh, well, let's do that. Doctor, heal this man. Thank you, Doctor. Be careful, Captain. The Alassie like to set booby traps. If you need any equipment, I've got my tools in this workspace. Using the old Fonzie method to open that up, so let's get whatever you got in there. I don't know. Spock said it wasn't too badly damaged. It looks pretty da badly damaged to me. Let's see. Can we pick up anything else? Transporter controls look all busted. Let's talk to our dudes. I suppose I should be grateful say? to see anyone after that. I thought I was dead. Well, well you're not. With any luck, you won't have to worry about that for quite some time. Ah, oh, Dr. Provided McCoy's so cheerful. Provided the don't have anything to say about it. Oh, thanks, Captain Kirk. Well, Jim, there's one thing I can tell you. I don't like Colossi. I can't see them winning any popularity contests, Bones. They can forget about <laughs> my vote. Oh, so clever, witty as this always. This is just like their raid on Damocles Station. Hard, fast, and dirty. Oh, that's what she... Never some... No, 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 I'm not gonna say that. When this operation is complete, Captain, we should have Mr. Scott, or Transporter Chief Kyle, come here to assist with the repairs. Let's not look too far ahead, Mr. Spock. Yeah, I don't need to worry about get that what right you now. Can what do you this I area. Think? Let's get moving. Captain, a thorough analysis is required. Okay, but let's not stay too long in one place. Sure, why don't you? Okay. What can we do? Let's take take a look at those transporter Even controls. Our most efficient chief engineer Scott would have trouble repairing this damage in less than two days. No, well, we don't have two days. What else is going on here? I don't think there's anything else we can try, Nothing Porter. to report, Captain. Yep. Pretty sure that's everything we can get from here. So, let's move on to the next screen. Now we're in the hallway, filled with junk. I don't think we can bring down that force field, Captain. If we could, though, it might be less risky than trying to transport onto the bridge. Mr. Spock, are you giving you options to finish this mission? Oh yes, there is a force field on the bridge. You can't just walk onto the bridge. Unusual configurations has been erected in front of the doorway, which leads into the bridge. I don't think it would be healthy to approach too closely, Captain. One does not simply walk onto the bridge of the Masada. Nothing to report. Nothing over there. Looking for things that highlight what else is going Five on. phasers without power packs, a drained phaser welder, insulation and bits of wire, and droplets of cooled molten metal. Molten metal, eh? I hope it's not a Terminator. Well, let's grab this junk, various junk. This is an adventure game, after all. You have to pick up all the junk you can carry. What else is going on here? Um, what's this? Is there a hotkey for a tricorder? There isn't, is there? No, that's look. Get. Um. No. Talk. Oh well. That'd be too cool. What's over here? Nothing to report, Captain. Oh, fine. Be that Nothing way. Nothing to report. Nothing to report, Captain. Okay. This corridor provides access to the transporter room, Captain. It is secure. Then you've done your job, Mr. Redshirt. Can't say I like the decor. Well, it used to be nicer. This is a mess now, think. isn't it? My daddy would have sent me to bed without supper if I'd done something like this. <laughs> if only we could do that. All right, so let's make sure to save. Save new game. Replace. So we can start screwing around with our stuff from our inventory. Let's see. We have to use the phaser on the other. I think. Oh, I gotta remember this. On these phasers. No, those phasers are empty. Ah, how is it you do this? You have to put one thing into another thing. Nothing happens. No, not that. No? Come on. Use this on that. Why am I not being able to use this on that? 
Oh, I can't remember how this works. Nothing happens. Well, don't use it on Spock. Nothing happens. That doesn't help. Nothing happens. And you're supposed to be able to take this and use... Pick them up and use it on this... Hmm. Why are we not working? Why do you not do things? Okay, well... We'll worry about that in a second. Let's go into this other room. Oh no! Alassie bad guys! Well, let's hey, not talk to him. Here? That's a very good question. Come on, phaser! Oh, they're using kill phasers too. Did you see that? The red. You fail to obtain anything. Well, I can't take stuff from them. Okay, what are we doing here now? I don't like the looks of this, Jim. Yep, I I'm don't just either. A security officer, sir. Good for They've you. turned this freighter into a prison barge. Yeah, that's not a nice I thing to do at all. Alassie live up to their reputation, Captain. Okay, so save new game, replace previous. There's one of the various ways that you could screw this up. The crew is tired and has elevated signs from extreme stress, but they will survive. Yep, just like Gloria Gaynor, they will survive. Nothing See, to report. Uh, oh. What's this thing? That doesn't Indian look good. Phaser bomb. The brig force field would contain the explosion, but it would kill the crew members within the cell. I recommend that we find a way of disarming it, Captain. Well, that would be the usual thing you would do with Captain, a bomb. Captain, the switch has been booby-trapped to detonate a bomb, presumably inside the brig somewhere. Hmm. Possibly that bomb, eh? No. Why don't we just play with this? See what happens. Oh no! The force field protected you from the blast, but everyone inside the brig is dead. You even get the you screwed up royally music too. Ah! Oh, I killed all the hostages. All of the crewmen are dead, Captain. We came here to save these people. Now look what we've done. Oh, Doctor McCoy. Just a security officer, sir. Well, good for you. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> but that's what you could do if you don't do it right. What you got to do is use Spock. Use Spock on the thing. Spock knows how to do all the things. You've set oh, wait. Set. Maybe not. <laughs> Whoops. Use Spock on a medium bomb. Strength. Use Spock on wires. There. I believe the bomb is now defused, Captain. There you go. Use Spock. Spock solves all. Well, go open the voice field and let our people out. Yay! Thank you for freeing us, Captain. We'll secure the area so they don't come up behind you. We've had electrical problems That's with our thing. door to our bridge, Captain. The Alassie don't know we put an electric shutdown device. You'd never find it by chance. But if hmm. you used a charged phaser welder two feet to the left of the door and one foot off the ground, you might be able to shut down the force field and get a jump on the Alassie. What are those feet you talk about? I thought we used metric in the future. Well, that's an interesting Thank thing. Thank you for freeing us. You better take the bridge before they suspect anything is up. Uh, you, yeah. you better hurry up or they'll catch on, sir. All right, all right, I'm getting there. Okay, let's grab the bomb, though. We can use that for various purposes. Yoink! Okie dokie! Maybe now that we know that we can make a phase plasma thingamajig, we can do the phase plasma thingamajig. Da, you fail da, da. To obtain what else anything. is there to grab? You anything? fail to obtain... You fail yeah. to... You fail... I don't think there's anything else we can grab. Okay, let's save. Save new game. Replace. Now let's try using stuff on things. No. Come on. 
Bomb. Use Nothing bomb. Happens. No, that's not gonna work. How do we make the phase plasma welder do the thing? Oh, I can't remember. Nothing happens. Nothing uh, happens. It's Bach. No. Nothing happens. Ugh. Oh, okay. I can't remember this part for some reason. Nothing happens. Which is bad since I've already done the walkthrough of this. Use thing on Nothing happens. thing. Nothing happens. Okay. Well, let's go to the transporter, I suppose. Come on. Captain Kirk, move. There you go. Why are you playing scary music again? He's Nothing on. Happens. No. Use uh, Spock on the controls. What do you think? The controls have been virtually destroyed, Captain. Can they be repaired, Spock? With Chief Engineer Scott's assistance, I believe we could get them in perfect working order in two days. Spock, we don't have two days. If we can repair the transporter, we might be able to transport onto the bridge and capture the Alasi. I can attempt to jury rig repairs if I can find parts. However, there is only a 67.357% probability of success. I like I those odds. I gambler, Spock. Figure out what you'll need. Okay. Now maybe we can do things. Nothing happens. No. No. Come Nothing on. Do things. Ugh. Use wires on the controls. No. Use this Nothing thing on happens. the controls. Nothing happens. Hmm. Nothing. All right. I shall return momentously. Okay. Use on. Phaser welder is now charged. Okay. Well, how the hell did I not do that before? I used bits of things on this thing. No. I think that bits does it. Things. A comb bit for oh, there the transmogrifier. Now I can continue repairs on the transporter controls. Oh, what the frig. I did just about everything except the thing I was supposed to do. Now use this the on The parts fit this together thing. satisfactorily. Okay. Jeez. For some reason I was not able to get that to work. What do I do with these things, though? Nothing? The wire scraps are too small. They melt instead of fusing together, and you're left with nothing. Well, I don't, don't want to do that. Oh. I'm screwing up my own thing here. Okay, Doki. I got to do it again. Charge phaser phaser welder thing. is now charged. Use uh, this thing on that thing, or this I think thing that on that doesn't. thing. There we go. Put the thing the into the thing. Alright, now let's save, save before we can game. screw that up any further. Okay, so what we need to do is use the plasma welder, like right about here. The field is absorbing the energy. It sounds squishy, doesn't it? There we go. That did it. The field is deactivated, Captain. So, interesting thing to note about this mission, you have to do... You have to both lower the force field this way and transport onto the bridge in order to get full points. So that's one way that you can solve this mission. You can just go boldly charging onto Save the bridge, but we'll see Replace how that works in a little bit. Let's go back to the transporter room, because the proper way is to transport onto the bridge. So let's fix that transporter of a jigger. Nothing happens. No? There we go. I attach these here. 
now. All I need is a spare length of wiring. Well, good thing I didn't melt it like I did last time. The bits are not long enough. I need a longer piece of wire. A longer piece of the wire, right? The bits are not long enough. Where am I going to get a longer piece of wire from? Don't know. Well, let's look around for a longer piece of wire then. What about the wires that I got from the. Did I pick up the wires from the bomb? Hey, look, they're tied up. What do you, you guys think now? Imperialist Federation scum! We will never surrender. Sereth is a great man with a great vision. I spit upon you! Well, I'm gonna have to get closer to do that. You Imperialist Federation! Oh, they both said the same thing, huh? Uh, you, you'd better hurry. Okay, alright, let's grab these wires. So those other wires were not necessary. They were just a red herring. Or red, blue, and green herring, I suppose. Okay, now let's fix the transporter. Let's do what... Scotty would take two days to do. We'll do it in... Two minutes, or whatever. There we go. Use the cable there. The controls are set for just inside the bridge door, Captain. Mr. Spock, you're a genius. I wouldn't go that far, Jim. But I do have to congratulate you, Mr. Spock. Now we can really risk shooting our atoms around the universe. Is this really necessary, Jim? Well, not actually. Analysis, Lieutenant Christensen. Security analysis, sir. If we transport onto the bridge, we'll have the drop on them. Assuming Mr. Spock has the transporter working properly. If we could get past the force field on the door of the bridge, we should be able to surprise them for sure. So we have both of those options available, and of Since course... we have a bomb, Captain, we could rearm it, transport it onto the bridge, and perhaps the Elasi will flee into the hallway. Then we could capture them. Ha 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 ha! hostages on the bridge will be killed when the bomb goes off. No, Jim. That's inhuman. Yeah, that's a pretty good warning you that you shouldn't do that. Possible damage to the bridge controls. Oh, they're not that necessary, are they? <laughs> well, that's just for fun. Let's Save blow up the game. bridge. Replace previous game. Cause I like to blow things up. Cause I'm playing this all the way through. So go ahead and put the bomb on the transporter. <laughs> Sure, this will have no negative consequences at all, right? My God, Chip, what have you done? You've killed them all. You probably blew up the whole damn bridge. <laughs> and the bad things happen. Music Captain plays. The ship will crash into the planet in 18.32 seconds. I would recommend leaving the ship immediately. That's a Your good idea, Spock. Blooded, emotionless. Bones, later. Kirk to Enterprise. Captain, you're alive. Leave us out of here. Bye, Captain. We'll just ignore that guy laying on the floor. Sorry, sucks to be you. Message from Starfleet, Captain. Hey, where'd the ship go? On screen, Lieutenant. Kirk, you have completely mishandled the situation with the Masada. You killed the hijackers on the Masada and all the hostages as well. <laughs> Your own crew had to transport you out of the wrecked ship before it went utterly out of control. Your record of Maverick stunts will be completely reviewed for consideration of disciplinary action. You have much to answer for, Captain Kirk. Consider yourself lucky that you're allowed to retain your command until we get back to you on this. Starfleet out. So you don't like my solution, I'll huh? Be frank, Kirk. Starfleet expects more of you than that. Try to do better on your next assignment. I'm very disappointed in you now. The end. But let's not do it that way. Love's labor jeopardized. We'll get to that mission in a moment. Priority message on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not do that. Okay, let's let's save the mission the good way. 
go ahead and um, uh, use Spock on the transporter controls. Let's beam ourselves in there. I'm going to have a word for you, Spock, if we appear inside the door. Um, you're not going to be having too many words, actually, if that happens. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, I did this in the jerk face videos. You could just stand here and um, watch them for a while. The Alasi clan member glares at the party. Oh, set <laughs> set phasers to glare, eh? The Alasi clan member glare. That's Captain the Sarah. Alasi clan I do like their fancy uniforms. They're the best dressed pirates I've ever seen with their fancy little berets. What can I do? I'm just a security officer. He doesn't seem to be in a talkative. No. That man is mad. Well, that's just uncalled for, isn't it, Bones? Spock has nothing to say. Man, a Vulcan, a few words. Hmm, that's interesting. Got the bridge view things and everything. So yeah, there's a couple ways you can handle this. You can just go ahead and save new game. Start Replace previous game. Start phasering them, why don't you? Because you don't need them. Scotty, beam down a security team to the bridge. <laughs> we have regained control. The end. Mr. Scott, beam us out. What do you need the security guys for now? Aye, Captain. I already killed everyone of interest. <laughs> so that's one way, but we got our red shirt phasered, so that's not good. Message from Starfleet, Captain. On screen. We have read your report on the problems at Beta Myonid and evaluate your performance at 42%. You and your crew received zero commendation points. Probably right, because we got our guy I vaporized. Trying to hold a Federation starship captive. Can you believe it? Since we just hit was uh, so do I. Let's save the post mission banter for when we finish this mission properly. Okay, let's do it the right way. Love's labor jeopardized. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Load previous game. What you're really supposed to do is just talk to him. You can tell it's him to stand over, down. Seth. Surrender, and I'll guarantee the lives of you and your crew. Freeze. Don't even think about it. Check and mate, Elasi. Don't do anything foolish. Um. So I forget. You could tell him. Do one thing, and he'll phaser the controls of the bridge, and the ship will go into crash mode. It's Let's over, not sir. do that. You're an honorable and worthy opponent, Kirk. I accept your offer. Scotty, there we go. The security team to the bridge. We have regained control. And they all surrender peacefully. Mr. Scott, beam us out of here. Aye, Captain. Hooray, we win. None of our red shirts got killed this time. Message from Starfleet, Captain. On screen, Lieutenant. We have read your report on the problems at Beta Myonid and evaluate your performance at 100%. You and your crew received four commendation points. Yay, happy perfect music. perfect mission, Jim. You are a model for all Starfleet. Well, I'm pretty... Good. Trying to if hold I don't a say so myself. Starship captive. Can you believe it? Since we just witnessed that very event, Doctor, I'm surprised you ask. Oh, Spock. So logical as it always. Was a rhetorical question, Spock. That took quite a bit of organization to seize a starship. Think we'll see more of the Alasi pirates? I don't know. Game's only a little I'm bit over. Really, Captain, I suspect they have considerable resources to draw on. Hint, hint, plot Sulu. point. Sulu, take us out of here. Uh, that away. All right. Love's labor jeopardized. Oh, this is another cool mission. Priority with some more interesting rewards to people who know about the Star Trek lore. But for now, that'll be the end of this episode.
And until the next time, live long and prosper. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. You can also interact with me on Twitter and Facebook at L1011 Widebody. And if you'd like, you can pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011 Widebody.